In this video I'm going to walk through the steps to use the VOC, Variable Offset Control feature in iGEMS. The Variable Offset Control can be used with either a 2D or a 5-axis machine because all we're doing is adjusting the XY position of the toolpath as opposed to the taper angle control where we're actually tilting the head using the A and C motors. Therefore, if you've got a 2D machine and you want to try to hone in your tolerances a bit more and improve some of this effect on the back side of your cuts, you can try using the, uh, the VOC feature. Before we get into that, it's important to understand a couple of the characteristics of the water jet stream. First thing to know, of course, is that as you go faster, you get more taper, as the abrasive has less time to work through the material, and then conversely, as you go slower, you'll get less taper, and to the extreme where if you go super slow, you can actually get it where the bottom kerf width is wider than the top kerf width. The other characteristic to understand is the effect of the stream lag here going from right to left here as we go faster and faster you get more and more stream lag and you'll see the effects of this especially in inside corners on the, uh, the back side. The other characteristic as you go slower your kerf width will get wider and wider as you measure it at the top of the part. So if you measure the top of the kerf here it might be 40 thou, we might be 40 one forty-two thou here, and we might be 43, 44 thou at the top of the cut here, and then as we go even slower, you might be 045, 046 wide at the top. The variable offset control adjusts for that. As you go slower, it'll actually change the toolpath to move the toolpath away from the part to adjust for this ever-increasing stream as we go slower and slower. Now here in iGEMS I've got a couple pictures. This would be back sides of a couple parts. This is the back side extra rough. Since we're looking at the back side, we're traveling in this direction. You can always tell the direction of travel by which direction the stream kicks back here. When you're cutting too quickly on a corner, you'll get this kickback effect and then as you go slower and slower into the corner trying to reduce that you'll get to a point where you're going so slowly you're coming to a virtual standstill and you're getting that effect where the kerf width on the bottom is actually wider than the kerf width on the top. And if we look down here this is a side view you can see the stream lag so as it's pulling away from this corner here the stream is kicking back eating away into that corner there. However here as we're approaching this corner we're slowing down slowing down and then as it's sitting there for a bit eats away at that corner there and you get this nice symmetrical shape there. What I'm going to do first is make a CNC file without the VOC turned on and then we'll make a CNC file with the VOC turned on. I'm going to overlay those two CNC files so you can see the change in the toolpath. I'll go ahead and use my parametric shape here again. So I will go ahead and move my lead down here and we'll apply a couple different qualities on here again. that with the VOC turned off. And then I'll make that again with the VOC turned on. Tools tab, I'm going to use this NC Reader icon to import those two CNC files and overlay them. The no VOC file. Here, of course, if we look in the corners, you can see nice straight lines as we would normally expect. And I am going to go ahead and change the color on that. 
and I'm going to do a G to group that together. And now I'm going to insert the other one. If you zoom in on the corner now, you can see there's a little bit of this bow here. And also up here. And we'll go ahead and we'll just make that one all red. Group that together. And I'm going to move this and overlay that. So now the yellow was the no VOC, the red is the VOC. And we can see as we're approaching the corner here and it's slowing down for this corner, it's changing that tool offset. And then as it speeds up, it goes back to its nominal tool offset. That's what the end result looks like. To get there, on your cam tab, you can go into your material database, choose your material and thickness, click on your edit button, scroll down a bit here. For the VOC, it's looking at the A, the difference between the A and the C values. If you've watched the taper angle control video, you could cut a similar part for the VOC, shaped like this, at the rough and the extra fine speeds, and enter the top dimensions A and C in these boxes here, and then it'll use the difference between those two numbers to give us the VOC result. And again, you don't have to have a five axis machine to do this. If I switch to a 2D machine. You still have this box and you can still plug in the numbers for the VOC and of course the TAC numbers won't apply for a 2D machine. Either way once you've got your numbers in there like I did before you can just go ahead and process it and create your file and check that VOC box. Now if that VOC box isn't coming up like it just did on this machine that I picked, to actually get that box to come up, the choice, click on the settings button here, go to strategy, go to the cutting menu, and then here you can set VOC to one of these four choices, no, no but ask, yes but ask, or yes. And then when you make the CNC file, you'll have the box there. You can choose whether you want to turn it on or off. Finally, I'll show you how to add the VOC in the 3D 5X or 3D 3X module. If you have a two axis or three axis machine, it would be 3D 3X. Either way, the process is the same. So I'll just take this part in there. I'll set my zero, 00 point at the top of the part, of course. I'll just use the auto button to find my curves. And then I'll just do the auto button to put some tool paths on here quickly. And then for each of these tool paths, if you want to add the VOC to it, down here at the bottom you've got the checkbox. So you can individually choose that for whichever cuts you want to apply that to. And then of course we can set our rapid heights, create our part. Set our order button in the 2D area, click on our part button, process, and then when you go to make the CNC file, check the VOC box, and then the VOC will be applied to those cuts that you selected in the 3D area. If you have any questions on any of this, let us know. Thanks.